Hello there. Okay, hi, my name's uh, Ben Wilcock. I work for uh, Red Hat, and I just wanted to very briefly talk about AI-enhanced developer portals, which uh, I think could be the future of platform engineering. So, first, let's have a quick look at where we are with AI generally. So, how many developers use AI? Well, in a recent survey that we did at Red Hat, we found that 83% of organizations are using generative AI already to support their software development. And what that means is that in the last two years alone, that appetite for AI assistance has really grown and it's grown rapidly for developer adoption, for um, AI has increased dramatically. So we're already moving in the right direction. How many developers are using AI? Well, again, same survey. We found that developers are using it to help them plan and uh, create documentation. They're using it to do code generation. And they're also trying to use it to do things like intelligent bug detection, which is uh, incredible, really, that AI can support you in so many different ways. And I think that what that shows is that generative AI is proving to be valuable in a lot of areas like coding and testing and documentation and troubleshooting. And if you want more information on that, you can use the QR code at the bottom of those slides there to get access to the full report. What about models? Well, which AI models are developers using? In the survey, we found that already 37% of organizations have developed or fine-tuned their own AI models, which, again, is quite incredible compared to just a couple of years ago. And 74% are using a centrally managed model where, in order to access AI, you need to have um, that be approved by the organization that you work for. So that means that centrally uh, vetted and in-house models are clearly growing in popularity. Model fine-tuning, model discovery is becoming a more common requirement for enterprise developers as well. And if you'd like to know more about model discovery, particularly in Backstage, then why not check out our blog post about how to uh, catalog AI assets using the software catalog in Backstage and in uh, Red Hat Developer Hub. Um, there's a link to that in the slides if you want to download it. What about AI and DevOps? Well, if you're using AI even just a little bit, the, uh, the latest DORA report uh, found that you're probably seeing an improvement in your metrics for flow, for job satisfaction, and productivity. And this is also positively impacting uh, well-being as well, which is fantastic news. And where is the cutting edge? Well, uh, the cutting edge at the moment is all this talk about AI agents, you know, long running uh, agents for AI that can do various different tasks. And in this article by Gartner, they were, they were predicting that 33% of enterprise applications would probably include some sort of agentic AI in just a few years' time, 2028. And they also said that probably 15% of day-to-day -day decisions would also be made autonomously by 2028. And that means that agents acting autonomously could become more commonplace, both in the desktop, but also in platform engineering and in the apps that developers write. And if you're interested in that topic, then you really should catch Neil Thompson's talk uh, in a little while, which is uh, entitled Empowering LLMs with Backstage. Uh, you can see that at 11.15, so don't miss it. What about future predictions? Well, um, Darius Amade, who runs uh, Anthropic, um, had a, a very recent paper out, and it describes what I'm calling the AI nexus moment, which he said was probably two to five years away. Th at this point, AI will become sophisticated enough to be able to achieve Nobel Prize winning standards in an awful lot of relevant fields, including coding. So if you think about that, an IQ of 160 plus in your agent able to do coding for you, what that might mean is that systems that collaborate, these agents that collaborate and bring together thousands of these things, we could get to the point where systems can design and build systems and possibly even maintain those systems as well. 
So that's quite exciting to think about and also perhaps quite nerve-wracking in terms of what that mean, might mean in, in the way that, uh, that we do things. And if you're really interested in that, go and check out um, Dario's uh, uh, paper. It's, it's, I, I can't recommend it strongly enough. It's very, very, very interesting. So go and check that out. And what about backstage in the Nexus age? Well, um, developer portals could perhaps provide us with a focal point. One thing that's probably true is that even though AI has got more sophisticated, the legal framework governing us all hasn't changed very much in, this, in that short period of time. So humans are still very much accountable and responsible for the work that the AI agents do. So in order to be accountable and responsible, you have to have oversight. And maybe that's where developer portals can start to um, expand their usage into that sort of oversight arena, perhaps not just helping with developing and testing and monitoring, securing, but also maybe direction setting and control and being able to describe the system that you want the agents to build for you. But of course, that's just my guess and you might have your own. So why not help us try and uh, figure out what the right things are to build in this particular space by taking the Red Hat Developer Hub AI survey. You can use that QR code on the screen there to, uh, to check that out. So that's it. It was very brief. I promised I'd be brief, and I think I was. But if you want to talk more about that, then come and see me on the Red Hat booth this afternoon. I'm there from uh, 2 till 5. You can also find me on LinkedIn. And you should be able to use that QR code to also rate this very brief and hopefully interesting talk. <laughs>